for 2015 is bringing a bigger, better package that like no one has ever seen. I am Kane Bishop, one of the top NPC bodybuilders that will be at USA's this coming 2015. Last year, San Jose show, it was Muscle Evolution. It was really an eye-opener for me and it was really a learning experience because it's the first time I really ever nailed my condition and my diet. And it was actually my first NPC overall win. Prior to that, I had won my, my weight class, but I've never actually won the, the overall. And that had been like one of my goals since competing. And I told myself, if I never won an overall, then I never need to go to a nationals because I won my first uh, class back in 2012. But I didn't do my first national show until 2014 when I felt like, okay, now I'm a contender. So then when we went on to the uh, Governor's Cup about like uh, two months later, um, I guess a little bit of cockiness because I had won that and my condition was on point. I uh, felt like because I was so conditioned, I didn't have to like cross as many T's and dot too many I's, I just had to maintain. Well, again, another learning experience. I'm glad we did it at that actual competition. Granted, I was at home in Sacramento, so it was kind of a, a low blow because family and friends were there, to, and, uh, and I wasn't as successful as I was at the previous show, which was the San Jose Muscle Evolution. But again, it was just uh, love and respect for the sport because you just can't half-ass it and then, and then and then call yourself a champion or, or show up expecting. You just can't expect, you gotta, you gotta grind and push. Everybody that comes to do a competition, especially bodybuilders, which is why we don't, if you look at bodybuilding, everybody think the sport is dying, it's not. It's just guys are so particular about their craft. So it's not that many guys that do shows back to back because that one show or that two or three shows they, they wanna do, they wanna make sure they bring their best. So they're killing themselves in the gym. There's no way you can kill yourself every week and do a show every weekend and just bring the best. It's just not fair to your body, number one. And honestly, it's just a, it's half ass in the sport, you know? So if you do respect bodybuilding and the sport, you always want to, and everybody, most of the competitors, they do. They always bring their best, which is why you see them do so many, they're, they're so far in between when they compete. And so the sport is not dying, just the competitors are so competitive and they respect the sport and uh, what they're trying to accomplish when they go to a competition. It's the only way anybody in the sport's gonna be successful is based on their surroundings and their support, whether it's friends and families, or even just strangers you know at the gym that just are there and they see your progress, they see the hard work. Those are gonna be your aces in the hole. Those are gonna be your, your, your hidden angels. Once I get in that gym, I know every time I go to work, I gotta make something happen, I gotta change, I gotta challenge my body so it feels like it has to improve in this area or it has to excel or it has to develop a little bit more or Bishop's gonna kill it. With those stress levels up high every time I hit a weight, I exercise, uh, the gym, I mean it's just my body's always, it knows what time it is because my mind's already prepared. Our focus this year is to go to USA in the heavyweight class. So we, are, we are actually preparing ourselves to be a pro, not just to compete. have to be there and watch it because I'm gonna it's gonna be something beautiful it's gonna be something amazing